we are going to hop right into our opening keynote session with Max from Brex. If you don't know what Brex is, Brex is when you when you hear early like a fast growing tech startup, they broke the record on like fastest to unicorn tech startup a few few years ago. Now at a few billion dollar valuation, I don't even know where it actually lies. They've launched a series of products aimed at the at solving financial problems uh, for the e-commerce merchant. So first starting with a, an e-commerce credit card, then in an e-commerce, what do we call it, Max? A pseudo bank account. I'm not allowed to say bank account for some reason. And, and Cash then, management account. Okay. All right, cool. And, and then uh, and now you're, you'll hear perhaps at the end of this presentation after talking a little bit about cash flow strategy in general, about a new product they launched. I'm gonna let Max reveal it. I'm not even gonna talk much about it. Max, it's, it's great to see you again. He's, he was, um, originally we, we, we met talking about uh, partnerships with Brex and, and e-commerce tech. Now you actually oversaw the development and launch of this new product, correct? That's right. That's, that's amazing. It's amazing to think about like how hands-on you've been in this process. And since you've seen it from a partnership standpoint, you've seen it from a merchant standpoint, I know that this is going to help a lot of merchants. I'll, I'll just uh, give a teaser, specifically those selling on Amazon. But with, with that being said, I'll let you uh, share a little bit more about cash flow strategies and, uh, and all that in general. And, and I look forward to hearing your presentation. Thank you so much, Derek. And uh, great to, great to, be here um, in front of everyone uh, to just quickly introduce myself. I'm Max Segal. I lead e-commerce product development here at Brex. And today we are going to talk about how to manage your cash flow as you scale. Um, and in particular, how to manage your cash flow as you approach your peak selling season, which I'm sure many of you are in the thick of. Um, as I mentioned, I lead e-commerce product development here at Brex. I've been with Brex for about two years now, started on the go-to-market side of the company. So have spent a ton of time with e-commerce businesses, learning their challenges, um, learning kind of like the best ways for a financial player to insert uh, themselves and, and solve the unique pain points that people in the industry face. So we're going to talk about cash flow and e-commerce. Um, you know, a bunch of the key questions that we find merchants asking. Um, give an overview of what what the landscape looks like today, and then you know we'll preview our new product uh, for everyone at the event. But before we dive into it, just wanted to give a bit of background on Brex, the story of how we came to be, um, and kind of our history in the e-commerce market, because I think it'll give some nice context to what we're trying to do here. So we are a fintech company. We were founded a bit over three years ago by two Brazilian entrepreneurs, Pedro and Enrique. Uh, their, their story is pretty interesting. When they were 16 years old, they founded a payment processor. You can think of it almost as a, a PayPal or a Stripe in Brazil. And they grew it like crazy. So by the time they were 18, they were processing over a billion and a half of annual transaction volume. They had 150 employees. Um, and they decided they wanted to go to college. So they sold the business, went to the U.S., started college, quickly dropped out to start their second startup, which was Brex. Um, originally had nothing to do with corporate cards, but you know, as they were starting their company, they realized some of the pain points that early stage businesses face when it comes to getting access to financial services, whether that's corporate cards or bank accounts or what have you, loans. Um, and they decided to pivot, launch Brex. And the whole value prop was just make it easy for early stage companies to access financial services. We started very catered to startups. You know, a lot of the pain points they face is, you know, there's no credit history to go off of. Um, they often have tons of venture funding. Um, and so they're credit worthy from the standpoint of having cash in their bank accounts. But without credit history, founders need a personally guarantee their um, corporate cards. So we launched with a corporate card for startups, um, hit a really acute pain point in the market and got to very quick scale. Um, thousands of customers, you know, as, as Derek mentioned, attracted a lot of venture um, attention. And um, we got many e-commerce companies on, on the product as well. But what we realized was e-commerce companies have very, very different financial needs, very different pain points than your kind of standard tech startup with 
um, venture funding. And so to talk about those, you know, the first thing we realized when we entered the e-commerce market was how front and center the problem of cash flow management is. It's the number one challenge that, you know, businesses that we encounter face. And there are a few things to highlight when it comes to cash flow management. The first is kind of the inventory to cash cycle that I'm sure many of you um, live and breathe are very familiar with. You know, the fact that it takes you know, anywhere between one month and several months between when you originally purchase your inventory um, and put some ad investment behind your product and when you actually see cash from the sale of your product. You know, if you're a rapidly growing business, this means you're just always going to be short of the cash you need to scale. And to kind of like the, the cherry on top that makes the, uh, the cash flow problem so difficult is kind of even when you actually sell the product, when there are orders coming in for your product, it takes anywhere between a few days and a few weeks between when the order is made and when the cash hits your bank account. And so not only does it take time to flip your inventory, but you know, you're also not getting paid quickly. Your money's getting stuck in the system. The second, the second challenge or the second piece of the cash flow management problem that e-commerce companies face is, you know, as you know, all e-commerce businesses are, are difficult to predict. Um, there's seasonality, you're, you're getting into your peak selling season. As Derek mentioned, there's a lot of uncertainty out there. You know, you don't know if this is going to be an off the chart season, if this is going to be, you know, in line with last year. And so it's hard to predict exactly how much inventory you need, how much ad investment to put behind your, your, the products you're selling. Um, and this just makes it even harder to manage your cash flow. Um, and then the final, the final point, um, and kind of where Brex fit into the picture originally and, and where we're trying to, you know, innovate and build new products to solve needs is you know, the funding landscape is very sparse and it's sparse, particularly for companies in the earliest stage of their development when the cash flow problem is most acute. And so the, the kind of two points to highlight here are, you know, venture funds, you know, when they, when they look to invest in e-commerce companies, we find they like to see companies get to a certain critical scale point before they're willing to give funding. Um, and the challenge there is you need cash to get to that scale point. Um, and so, you know, if you look across the landscape, other financing alternatives, you know, we'll dive into some of the specifics, but there's a host of, of challenges um, and drawbacks, you know, as you look across the landscape. It's either, you know, a lengthy process to get approval, you know, you need to put your personal credit worthiness on the line, there are very high fees associated with some of the options. And then kind of the, the thing that's most timely right now is um, there's been a big pullback in kind of companies willingness to provide financing given the macro uncertainty, um, which kind of makes the challenge even more acute. Um, before we dive into like what, what the landscape looks like and our perspective on some of the alternatives out there, there are a couple of questions that we think are very important to keep top of mind and that I'm sure many of you have, have thought through. The first question is, how much capital do I need? Um, when you take capital on, there's usually a cost of capital associated, so you don't want to take too much and have to pay interest expense or any other fees on more capital than you need. So it's important to kind of have a sense for how much you want and the flexibility to take on the amount that you do need. Second is kind of the question of how long do I need the capital for? Do I just need, you know, a bridge for a week or two? Do I need a few months of runway? Um, the payment term on the capital is a really important point to think through. The third um, really important point is how, how much am I willing to pay for financing? Um, you know, some capital is, is really cheap, um, has no fee associated or a low fee. Um, some, some of the, the financing alternatives as we'll discuss in a, in a second come with actually really high annualized interest. Um, and it's important to just be mindful of what you're paying for capital. Um, and then the last, the last things to, to cover are, you know, what are the other terms associated with the financing you're taking on? So are you putting your personal credit worthiness on the line? Um, are you, do you need to go in person and file an application at a bank? Um, and then finally, do I qualify? 
as I mentioned, the earliest stage businesses, the companies that are a few months old, just getting off the ground, have very limited options um, when it comes to financing and getting getting more funding for your business. Um, and so while some of these options that we'll, we'll talk through are, are very you know, attractive and desirable, if, you're, if you only have a few months of history, you're kind of locked out of the market here. And so just to go through some of the options, um, you know, many of our customers have kind of used all of these and so very familiar with um, kind of how, how the products work and, you know, what people like and they don't like. Um, the first one to cover is the traditional bank loan. Um, so, you know, this is kind of, as I alluded to earlier, you're going in to your branch, applying for a loan. Um, very often that requires a personal guarantee unless you have kind of a sizable business with, with real business history. Um, it could take a couple of days to a couple of weeks to get approved. Um, you know, and they, they come with an interest rate. Actually, kind of some of the, some of the lowest cost capital comes from these traditional bank loans. Um, but there's kind of the, the in-person aspect of going to apply and the time to approval that holds you know, many of our customers back from these types of loans. Um, then there's the inventory loan. You, know, you could actually pledge the inventory you're purchasing, um, sell, sell the ownership of that inventory to a bank or a third party financial institution. Also takes like a, quite a bit of time to, to get access to this type of capital. Um, but you know another another option available if you really are optimizing for cost. Um, kind of the, the key thing to call out with with these two in particular is you know there has been quite a meaningful pullback in the availability of these these forms of financing, just given kind of uncertainty around the economic situation. The next the next bucket of solutions to cover are what we call kind of the platform financing solutions. So Amazon has their, you know, loan, their loan program, their Shopify capital, PayPal working capital, Stripe capital. These are all, you know, really fast to funding um, options that are available to a subset of customers on the selling platforms that you sell through. Um, so if you're eligible for, for one of these, one of these financing options, you'll see in your Shopify dashboard that you have access to a Shopify capital loan. You can click through Shopify deposits the capital directly into your bank account. And then, you know, the way all of these work is the platforms will just withhold a portion of your payout as repayment on the loan or the, or the advance that they're providing you. You know, the, the, the benefit of these, these types of offerings is, you know, they're really quick. Um, to get access to, um, and it, it's convenient. You don't have to go in person. You know the, the challenges that we see with these are, you know, one, they happen to be quite expensive. Um, so anywhere between kind of double-digit annualized interest to kind of fifty plus percent, we've seen um, with with these financing options. Um, and the way the fee is kind of hidden a bit. Um, you know the way the way that these platforms will typically frame the fee is, you know, you, you repay, you know, 120% of what we, what we give you over a three month period. Um, so you have to kind of go in and do the math to figure out how expensive it actually is. Um, and, you know, it's the, you can't really control eligibility. You have to be offered um, these financing options in order to access them. And then the last, the last bucket of um, kind of options to talk through are kind of the, the tech enabled lenders that have popped up over the last five to 10 years. So companies like ClearBank, Cabbage, OnDeck, um, Bluevine, you know, they've, they've kind of solved the, the, the fast to fund problem. So you could apply online, link all of your revenue sources um, and get access to capital pretty quickly. They, they look across all of your selling platforms um, and give you capital based on kind of your whole business instead of just a piece of it. So if you took an Amazon capital advance, um, you're only getting underwritten based on your Amazon business. Or if you take a Shopify capital advance, you're only getting underwritten based on your Shopify business. You don't get credit for everything. You know, and we know many, many merchants, well over 50% of our customers sell on multiple platforms. 
So the benefit of you know some of these more holistic lenders is they look at everything um, and they give you capital based on every dollar your business has earned. Um, the drawbacks that we've we've seen here these are also you know quite expensive offerings. Um, so we've seen kind of very very high double digit interest rates for some of these um, some of these offerings. Um, and there's been you know a very meaningful pullback in these companies' willingness to take on new customers, just given the macro environment. So this is a, an overview of you know some of the popular financing offerings that we've seen in the e-commerce market. And now I just want to I want to turn it over to the way Brex is solving this problem today with our new product, um, and tell you all a little bit more about it. So our product is what we're calling instant payouts. And the problem that we're solving is what I alluded to earlier, which is that it takes anywhere between a few days to a few weeks between when you get paid and when you see the cash from that sale. So there's a lot of cash at all times if you're an e-commerce business that's sitting kind of somewhere stuck in the financial system um, that if you could have access to, instantly, you'd have more cash to reinvest in your business. And so Brex's product, what we're doing is for companies with a Brex account, you could connect every platform you're selling on, Shopify, Stripe, Amazon, PayPal. We show you how much you've sold since your last payout from each of these platforms. And with the click of a button, we give you the ability to access that cash instantly whenever you need it. I'll tell you a little bit more about it in a second. Um, but as Derek mentioned, this is a very new product. It's not generally available yet. Um, and it's it's today just available to Amazon sellers. Um, and we decided to start there because you know the Amazon payout cycle is perhaps the, the most painful one we've come across. They pay their sellers once every two weeks. Um, and so there was kind of the most demand, at least in our customer base, for um, companies to access instant payouts on Amazon specifically. So that's where we started. Um, but by the end of the year, the, the plan is to have all the platforms on this page. Just to tell a little, to give a little bit more detail on how the, how the product works. Um, so you sign up for a Brex account, which we'll talk about in a second. Every time you log into the Brex dashboard, you see how much money you've made from your connected accounts. And then you have full flexibility to take on whatever you want. So let's say you have $5,000 available. You need $2,000 to make that inventory purchase or put some money to work um, in Facebook ads. You click in, you say, I need $2,000, click a button. And then it's instant, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, whether we're inside or outside of banking hours, that money is deposited into your account where you could use it however you'd like. The cost of the program is you repay um, 101.5 of the capital that you're advanced. So let's say you want $100. When your platform payout comes in, 101.5% is collected. But the key thing to note and we'll talk about how the Brex account works in a second, is if you spend the money on your Brex card, you earn cash back to fully offset the fee. So if you take $100 and then you wanna buy Facebook ads for $100 with that money, you just use your Brex card and then the program actually costs you nothing to use. Um, and then the last point, which is really important to highlight is our objective here is to give capital to as many businesses as we can, particularly in the, in the spots of the market where capital access is hardest. And as I mentioned, we've, we've noticed that the earliest stage companies are the ones that have the hardest time getting capital. So we wanted to build an offering that works well for companies that are at their earliest stages of growth. So all you need is one month of selling history um, in order to access this product. So before, before we wrap up, just wanted to talk about the Brex account as a whole, just so everyone you know, who's listening in understands how the account works. Um, so 
Brex Cash is the account that you would be signing up for in order to get access to this product. It takes about five minutes to sign up. E-commerce businesses get approved. Um, and you know the it's it's a cash management account. So it's a place where you could store your money, you get FDIC insurance on it, um, you have free unlimited wire transfers, you get the instant payouts feature um, that we were talking about, comes with a card. Um, which gives you rewards on all of your spend. So every dollar uncapped, you're earning, you're earning uh, rewards on. Everything syncs over with your accounting software, all, all your card spend and all your cash um, history. It, it syncs over to QuickBooks, um, NetSuite, Zero, any of the major accounting um, platforms that companies use. It come, you know, when you when you sign up for Brex, you get access to discounts on about 30 popular vendors, whether that's like Google Ads, Klaviyo, um, Gorgeous, Slack, Zoom, you name it. Um, we've probably had a, had a conversation about starting up a reward. Um, so those are all access, accessible to customers as soon as they sign up. Um, and you know, then they're kind of like the no minimum balance, no fee, no hidden fees, um, no transaction fees or anything like that. So that's how the product works. Um, and then just to, just to wrap it up, wanted to, you know, reiterate that this is, this is a product that's not publicly available yet. Um, it's in early, it's in early access beta right now. Um, and so we talked to Derek and, you know, made sure that attendees of this virtual event could get early access. Um, and so as long as you are an e-commerce business with mo one month of selling history, $5,000 in monthly sales on Amazon. You, you could sign up for Brex Cash, connect your Amazon account, you route your Amazon payouts to Brex Cash, and then you'll get access. Um, and so you could get access with this link, which we'll, we'll include in the Zoom chat, and we'll make sure Derek follows up with the event um, in his email so that everyone has it. Um, and also, you know, if anyone listening is interested, I've included our head of e-commerce sales, Marcy's email, um, right here in the presentation, and she would be happy to help any any um, any merchants that are listening get early access. Um, so with that, I would be happy to answer any questions that have come up during the event. And thank you all very much for listening. Max, I rarely, I mean, I can't think of the last time I, I got excited about financial products. <laughs> I don't know what it is that Brex does for me here. And I think, you know, I've been kind of touting in chat as you've been going along. And like, I just want to emphasize, like, I don't, uh, I don't personally care if you use Brex or not, but I get so excited about tools like this because you rethought about how to offer the financial products to the market at essentially no cost, which which makes the existing competitors in any of these spaces essentially on the path to obsolete. Like, why would you go? You know, like you're you're so by by having the suite of tools, I believe you'll uh, naturally kind of beat out everybody else in the market. And that's why I'm really excited about this because I'm, I'm a market kind of guy. Like I, I like to understand the industry and the market and see how technology is changing it. And so that guys, that's why I'm really bullish here. And I think, you know, if you're not checking out Brex today, it's going to be in like six months or a year, you're going to need to hop on board and, and figure out how this fundamentally changes your cash flow, fundamentally gives you bet, uh, better perhaps cash back in certain cases. And also he didn't even mention that they, had, they have a massive uh, kind of partner rewards program for anybody uh, that signed up with, uh, with their account. So uh, yeah, I don't know. That's my, that's my pitch for Brex. <laughs> um, awesome. Thank you, Derek. I, yeah. see, I see one question here, which is how do I apply? I will, as soon as I stop sharing my screen, uh, share the link um, on how to get set up. Here's how you apply for the credit card is here. And then Stephanie did drop the link to the instant payouts tool, which is here. And in order to get set up with this, it won't cost you anything, but you, you got to go through a little bit of a process and connect a few things in your back end of your account. And then you will be able to see how this product can directly influence your cash flow. which is, uh, it's pretty cool to be able to, to get set up and do all that stuff without, without any risk.
Awesome. Perfect. And do you have to actually make a certain uh, a minimum amount on Amazon for that payouts component? Yeah, um, I see Joanna's question. Um, we'd be happy to talk about your specific business. Um, Marcy on the team would be happy to dive into the details with you and uh, figure out if you qualify. So um, just reach out to her if you want to get set up, marcy at brex.com. Or you could follow that second link, that go.brex.com slash instant payouts um, to set up time with her. And, and if you don't sell on Amazon, um, as I mentioned, we will have, you could still you could still set up a Brex account and get the card um, and the cash management solution and take advantage of kind of all the, all the product details um, there. And then by the end of the year, we'll have Shopify, Stripe, um, and PayPal as well. So if you sell or make revenue through any of those sources, you'll be able to get instant access to it through the instant payouts solution. Yeah. And for those not selling on Amazon today, you've got uh, for certain, uh, if you're doing, is it over 50,000 a month or is it a hundred thousand a month for the credit card uh, do, to apply? You, you have to have an established track record of uh, with a monthly minimum, you can apply for the credit card, you connect your Shopify account, they'll essentially approve you or not. What's really cool about the credit card is it's tied to your business. It has absolutely no fees when you sign up through, uh, through our, our link that we've dropped here. Uh, like no fees. It's like incredible. I was like, okay, but what if they don't pay? And they're like, well, then we just shut down their account. I was like, oh, that would make sense. Like, oh, I guess we didn't have to charge fees. You know, the credit cards of the past are, are still kind of banking on the fact that uh, that people will be late or not pay and then charge uh, insane amounts of interest and fees. Here, it's 60 day term financing and no risk of fees. And again, the, that credit card is completely free as long as you qualify. Then you tie that into your Brex Cash account. You start piping your transactions through Brex Cash instead of what, it, what maybe Bank of America or Wells Fargo. And that's going to start to allow you, um, and then you connect all of your e-commerce accounts. It's going to allow you better cash flow by being able to take advantage of, even if you're not selling on Amazon, you could be, uh, if you needed to, pipe out cash from other sources in the future. Uh, that being said, you know everybody's business is different, and you're only going to need those that cash under certain circumstances. Number one thing I would say to uh, businesses thinking about this today is, Cash is your lever for growing the business. You don't just need more money so that you can buy a fancy car. You only want to use financial products to specifically reinvest in the growth of your business, whether it's advertising or product, or occasionally it could be hiring or resources, but mostly advertising product, because you know that if you put in double how much money you have today, like, so I've got 10K, if I put in 20K, I'll get 60K out and I know that I'll make money. So it's like, if I can leverage someone else's money, that's, you know, this is gonna be a, a high growth moment for me. So, all right, Max, thanks so much for joining us. I think we've, we've ranted on enough about this. You could chat with people more here. We're gonna move directly into our next session with Soma from Recart. Thanks again, Max. Awesome, thank you, Derek.